this is using the still combi system. I have the uh, KM11R and uh, I have the bar on it. I think it's a 18 inch bar. I have to double check, make sure. Yeah, just her up. It's been doing pretty good so far. This is what I've I've actually limbed a bunch of over here. This is our second trailer that we're doing. Just want to give a little show of, I think this was pushing it, uh, but it did it. It was patient and uh, it cut right through that. I was put a little bit of pressure on it. Oh my goodness, that thing works wonderful. It goes right through it. So I've been really impressed with it so far. I had a chainsaw and uh, the steel chainsaw. I should have kept it, but uh, I was gonna have somebody professional take these down, but I just wanna limb them up right now so I can have some room here. But uh, just wanted to show what it did with the uh, combi system and I have the uh, bar the pole saw and this right now has the uh, just the regular doesn't have the extension on it uh, I didn't think I was going to need the extension today so we didn't bother with that but there with there it is
What I didn't show you uh, earlier was the adjustment of the, the head on this, uh, the, the adjusting the chain. It's pretty simple to do. You will need a tool to do it. Though. A 13 millimeter wrench, and it just uh, you just loosen it up like that. And then here, you'll see it's plus and minus, and uh, this is all you have to do. Uh, to the left is plus, here's minus, you'll see how loose it'll get. So that's loose. So now what I need to do is uh, tighten it up just like that. Test it to make sure it's not too tight. Could probably do a little bit more. Okay. So that's all it is, and then you just come back, retighten this up, and you're good to go. I do have an extension for this also that I'm going to use a little bit later. Uh, it's the graphite one, I think they call it. It's really light, so I'm uh, going to get ready to add that to it now and show you how that looks. Here's the graphite tube, and uh, it'll go on like this. And then this whole piece will come off, and then uh, I'll add it on. And with the uh, hand crank, so here you just loosen it up. There's some arrows here to make sure that everything is lined up right. This is what it looks like when it's apart. As you can see, you can just see the shaft here. So I'll add the shaft here onto there and uh, it'll be close to going. One thing I did notice was when I got it from the dealer that the end here was not uh, adjusted right. Uh, so I had to loosen these up and just spin it around to where it's, it was upright. Uh, really it was no big deal, but I think they pay a little bit of attention to detail and do that for you, but it is what it is. It, I mean, it literally took me two minutes to do it. So here we are going to add it on. Here it is with the extension pole added on. And as you can see, that gives you quite a bit of reach. I'll put in the description how long it actually is. That did a pretty good job. It's got a nice, uh, nice reach to it now. This is a cedar tree and, um, we had a bunch of them here and they were just growing too close together. So now we've removed a bunch of them and it also gives us a, a view of the little bit of the hills over there, which is pretty nice that we can see from our deck. So the idea is now to come down here and trim the rest of this up so I can get in here with my lawnmower and be able to uh, take care of business, get a little bit closer in there. Um, but this all really likes this size. As you can see, I've done some on this side already, uh, but these, it goes through with no problem. And it takes care of it. So I'm gonna limb up a little bit more. And, um, but uh, this, this saw, I, I've said it a couple times, but I've been really impressed with it. It's uh, doing a really good job. I've taken the extension off, even though that was the graphite bar. Uh, wow, putting that thing together and holding it up. I was trying to reach things that uh, were even taller than it was, and uh, it was just kind of hard to, to get there. So I'm just trying to get things done and uh, take care of it, let you know how it looks when we're done here. Here it looks uh, after everything's been done, chopped down, cleaned up, put some of the stuff back in the woods. I really need a chainsaw to do this properly, but I don't have a lot to do. I can cut small ones here and there. I'd have to have a professional cut some of these. But that looks good after everything's been cleaned up.